On our channel, we share a lot of accessibility nightmares. Yes. This one takes the cake. Like there are things that we've shared where people have been like, oh my God, I can't believe that airplanes aren't accessible or like this happened to you. This. All of that pales in comparison. Is I am bizarre. Not kidding you. What we were about to tell you was the most humiliating experience I've had in the last 20 years, I think. What was the one before this? I don't know. I'm sorry. I peed my pants as a kid. <laughs> this is ridiculous uh, and a little bit funny. Uh -huh. So Shane and I fly a lot for speaking engagements, travel for fun, whatever. We just like how inaccessible <laughs> air travel is, so we do it as often as we can. <laughs> well, we found ourselves flying a lot and we did not have TSA pre-check. If you don't know, TSA pre-check lets you, you know, go in a special line at security. It, they've like verified your identity. You're a known traveler. And so you don't have to take off your shoes. You don't have to take your laptops out of your bag. It's just like a quicker process at the airport. And for which, a wheelchair yeah, user. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. Just for a wheelchair user, uh, the process is also way simpler. Yeah. If you have TSA pre-check. Yeah. That was another big reason that we were like, maybe let's just do it. Yeah. So for four years, we've been like, we should really get TSA pre-check. And then last month we flew like four times. We were like, we really need to have this. So we finally applied online. There's a, there's a fee to do it. And like you go in person to an office and they have to like verify your identity and all this stuff. So we've been putting off this process. We finally decided to do it. So it came time for us to go in person to verify our identities yeah. at like this TSA office type deal. It wasn't like a very normal like office building. office building in the basement actually. Yeah. It might have been fake. It might have been in the wrong area. But a uh, tiny little office, little waiting room with like a few cubicles. Yep. And there's a good number of people there all having their identities verified. Yep. We were in the waiting room and we saw probably 10 people come and go having their identities verified. It's a really quick process. It's yeah. just fingerprinting. You like tell them your information and they get a picture of you. So it literally takes like two minutes per person maybe. And they came out and they told us in. And what transpired from here, I can't even, I can't, you have no, you, you cannot fathom. No, you can't fathom. How ridiculous everything is about to go downhill. I will preface this story by saying the employees at this office were extremely kind very accommodating. They also all knew our channel. Yeah, like apologetic <laughs> when this started to transpire. Like the people that worked there were wonderful and amazing. This is absolutely not their fault as you're going to hear in the story. Like this was not like someone was yeah. rude. No, no, no. We actually really got along with all the people involved. Yeah. They were like real friendly. Yeah. So we go into the little office and we need to answer some questions. There's a big computer that this TSA agent is entering information to you, like social security number, addresses, things like that. Hannah goes first. Yep. And after she answers her questions, you had to sign something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You had to fingerprint all 10 fingers. Yep. And then you had to get your photo taken. And the fingerprinting was like a machine that you would put your fingers on the screen. It wasn't like die, you know. And as I'm watching Hannah begin her process, I'm noticing different things about it that don't look very doable for me. Yeah. Like reaching the thing that you have to sign your name on. Yeah. Or reaching the thing that you have to do your fingerprints on. Or, or getting into the area where your photo needs to be taken. Yeah. So I'm watching it's taking like three minutes and I'm telling myself, okay, there is no way that every aspect of this is not accessible. Yeah. Like, lots of wheelchair users have TSA pre check. So now it was my turn, big moment, and boy oh boy, did it go horribly. <laughs> Before we get into all that, I'm gonna show you a little magic trick. And now, using nothing but dark magic, I will use my mind to remove Hannah's clothing. Oh lord. On the count of three, give us a spin. One, two, three. 
Haha! Ta da! There are very few videos where it's appropriate for me to use dark magic to remove my wife's clothing. But when she has a signature bra, that's a good reason. All right, my work here is done. I am so excited about this partnership with Harper Wild to make a signature bra. My wife has a signature bra. This bra, I have to turn around, <laughs> says keep laughing on the back and 15% of the proceeds go to Laughing at My Nightmare, Shane's nonprofit. This is my nonprofit that provides medical equipment to people with disabilities. Yes. I have been wearing this bra for like three, four months now since this partnership has been in the making. I did not tell you how many times she said to me, Shane, this bra is so comfortable. It is the most comfortable. My mom has two of them now. Yeah, then her mom got one. Yeah. And then like three times a day. Well, she tried mine on and she was like, oh my God. Cause oh. She, and she has said that she never wears bralettes because they're not supportive enough for her. This one is, and she loves it. All I hear all day long, this bra, oh, this bra. From like two sides of the house, and we're like, yeah, the bra. And Shane's like, oh my God, when will this be over? But I'm so excited that it's available now. You can go to the link in the description of this video to buy one, get an amazingly comfortable bra. It's also adorable. Uh, a signature Hannah bra. Uh -huh. And also support laughing in my nightmare at the same time. So it's the perfect partnership. I'm so happy. The best part is that this bra is 100% Shane approved. That literally means nothing to anyone. Thanks, guys. All right, give us another spin. All right, back from Shane's favorite brand deal ever. My favorite brand deal <laughs> that we've ever done. My wife has a signature bra. All oh, right. Okay, so moving on. First <laughs> up, Shane had to answer all the questions. And, and I nailed that part. That went great. <laughs> that was fantastic. It's totally fine. Then I had the autograph the thing, the little device. Yeah. And I asked the agent, uh, is there any way that can move? Mm -hmm. And it sort of did. It was on a wire. If she was able to slide it to the edge of the desk, but that was not yeah, like, close enough for me. Yeah. So I was like, all right, well, I'll kind of try. So I had to like jam the pen into my hand. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I literally was like holding the pen and Shane was like guiding my hand. It was absurd. I mean, I was essentially signing, but we were like, okay, Shane, signing. And that's how, I mean, we've had to do that before. Yeah. That's a fairly common failure of accessibility in the world. Yeah. Um, so we're used to hand out the big side. Yeah. Then it was time to do my fingerprints, which is arguably, it is, the most important part <laughs> of this process. This is how the TSA is going to verify who I am yep. and either approve me or deny me for TSA pre-chat. Mm -hmm. And the device is about, how you show them with your hands, how big it is. It is a square box. Yeah, plastic, on the table. Plastic box on the table with a glass top. Yeah. That took your fingerprints somehow, I don't know. Yeah, well you had to, and it was like one hand at a time, two quadrants, you had to put like three fingers in one, two in the other, and it would, or some combination, and it would take the fingerprints all at once. And you had to do it like, four times to make sure it got it correctly. So I said to the agent, I was like, all right, my fingers don't really straighten. Yeah. A, B, I do not extend my arms onto the desk. What should we do here? Yeah, you were like, I can do one finger at a time. Uh huh. Cause like one can straighten, Shane just can't do like all at a time. And they were like, no, it has to be all four or five at once. Yeah, something about the machine yeah. would not do your fingers one at a time. Nope. You had to do them in like pairs or yeah. all four. The agent did everything that she could to move the device as far or as close to me yeah. as possible. But even and worse than the signature thing, this one like barely moves. And I, like both of us, she and I were like trying to straighten Shane's fingers out and she, like she would hold down two of them and I would try to get the other two. Like we were literally both on Shane's hands trying to like smash it and it would not every single time the, the machine was like invalid no it would not take the fingerprints and so my like, time is passing we have to get like we have to make it work so I am like yumping in pain yeah because my fingers don't straighten but they need to yeah and <laughs> you know that my nickname is Rubs. that is because I have very sweaty hands yep and that this situation <laughs> is exacerbated when I am nervous yep. or in like high pressure situations like yeah. this. I kid you not, my hands were dripping 
drops all of over sweat. the machine. I kept, she get, was giving us like paper towels and we were like wiping <sighs> Shane's hands off. And we were all kind of laughing about it, but I was so yeah. embarrassed. Like I would put down my fingers and they're like, oh, ow, as like Hannah and this woman are slamming my hand down to flatten them, or Hannah, and the woman, yeah. and like my fingers are sliding all over the place. They're not staying. The machine like got one print, and yeah. then we tried to do a new finger, and it canceled out yep. the first print, so we had to start over. Yep. We are sweaty. It's getting hot. And now it's been like <laughs> 10 minutes. You know, it's been, a, yeah. we've been trying to do this for 10 minutes. And everyone else that was there was in and out in two minutes. Yes. You know, Hannah's process took 30 seconds. Yeah. So we're not getting it. We're not getting it. And I am getting really frustrated. So I said, like, what will we do if we can't get it? Yeah. And the agent was like, well, I could put a note in here that you, like, don't have hands. Or fingers, or like some of your fingers. They're, the only thing they can do is there was a box to check that said doesn't have hands. Yeah, and I was like, is that going to affect me? And she didn't really like know she didn't or know. Yeah. think it would. Um, but that was like a last resort. Yeah. So we kept trying, and like we, you know, after a while, we were like, all right, let's try to move the box. Yeah. Put that like at, like even more close. Can we get one of your hands? Like try the other hand, see if we can just get one of them. Then I can say it only has one hand. Yeah. No. No. Nope. Failed all around. It was like 15, maybe 20 minutes of trying the hands, and finally. She was like, okay, we're just going to check off no hands. Yeah, and uh, we are all drenched in sweat. Yeah. The machine is covered <laughs> in my hand sweat. I feel so embarrassed, even though I know it's not my fault, but, yeah. like, this is ridiculous, and I am in pain yeah. and looking ridiculous, and it wasn't even the worst of it. Now we had to do my photo. So I said, what's in the camera area? Can, um, I, can I describe the camera area? Yeah, yeah. So this office was very small. You walk in. There's a narrow area with one chair, and then there's the desk, and then there's the TSA agents. So you're facing each other, and to take the photo, you move the chair out of the way and stand where that is. So it's about like a maybe 24-inch space. Shane cannot pull his wheelchair in and turn in that tiny of an area. But I tried. <laughs> yeah, you tried. I tried backing in for about 10 minutes. Yep, and then you, and you got in there like kind of, but then when he raised up, he was still below the frame. She, and I was like, oh, well, just like aim the camera down a little bit. Yeah. And she said, unfortunately, the cameras are permanently mounted I can't in this them. position. I have no ability to adjust the camera height. I didn't believe it. I was like, okay, so I just went through 30 minutes of like pain getting my hands to work. Yeah. And now I'm going to be stopped by this camera not being You can't movable. adjust the camera at all. And there was no option. Like, they're literally, they were like, we cannot move the camera at all. So what we had to do. This is ridiculous. To finish this process, Shane had to back all the way out again. I had to take him out of his wheelchair. I had to get a stool, put it there, put my knee on it, and sit him on my knee like a puppet. Like a puppet. I balanced my head his knee. Hannah and had to I like couldn't lean. be in the photo. Yeah, she had to lean out of the way. So you were like. I was flopping really around. Really trying to balance hard. My neck was flopping. I looked like, you know, yeah, really weird. So I'm sitting up in her knee precariously. Thank goodness it didn't end in, like, an injury. Yeah. How easy it would have been for Hannah to not be capable of holding me in that position or if Hannah, like, yeah. slipped or if I slipped off her knee. <laughs> so without the photo... Again, we're drenched in And you were sweat. a little bit low. And she was yeah. like, I hope they accept this. And I was like, I cannot physically get him any higher. It was 45 minutes, the whole thing. Yeah. And at that point, at the end of that, I was like, you know what? If it doesn't work, I just won't do CSA <laughs> preach And that is kind of horrible. Yeah. It's just so ridiculous that that experience was so horrible and inaccessible and embarrassing. Then by the end of it, I was like, I don't care. If I get to say pre chat, yeah, I don't. They that I must have been their first military user ever, yeah, in that office because none of it was made with a military user in mind, yeah. <sighs> and it's like a government agency, like, yeah. how do they not have the rules to be like the camera has to be able to take a photo at sitting height? Like, I literally don't, I, I, I have no words for that. What if I wasn't able to be lifted by Hannah? 
Yeah. What if I, you know, like most people, like most people, like you're relative, you're small. Imagine like a adult, typical sized person. Like yeah. I can't put a normal sized person on my knee and hold. Like what? We would have had like five TSA agents <laughs> hoisting me up in the air. We would not have been able to do it. Maybe if we hang him from the ceiling. <laughs> Jeez. Again, all the employees were mortified yeah. and so apologetic. It, they weren't the ones that made this yeah, office. They didn't build it. Um, so we're in no way upset at them. Yeah. But TSA, you need to get your pre checked yeah. verification offices figured out uh-huh. in terms of accessibility. Oh my God. Uh, oh, I was approved for TSA <laughs> too, yeah. Yeah, approved saying yeah. that you had no hands and like half of your face showing. So now when I did the airport, I have to like hide my fingers. <laughs> Don't look. I'm going to be like, are those hands? <laughs> are those pointers? <laughs> Uh, so that's our embarrassing oh. experience. Thankfully, we were able to laugh about it afterwards, but yeah. for the rest of that day, I was like in a bad mood. Yeah. I was like, I feel like I've been dehumanized. <laughs> yeah. You know? Literally. Ugh. Terrible. Let's make our world more accessible. Yep. All right, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>